little gnome. A gnome. <laughs> At the same time, little drinky poos we got going. Dude. Oh, your bumper's. I'm sorry. Two J. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> oh, the laugh. Crazy tuck, huh? Look at Johnny. Johnny is outside. Cleaning up the trunk a little bit with a little bit of magic fingers. What is up, guys? So, the Z, the front bumper is not in the best shape. And it's very annoying. It's my driveway. It's scooped up rocks, as you could hear and see. Lots of rocks. So, this lip that I destroyed has to come off the only thing with that is it holds the integrity of the whole bumper bumper is destroyed anyways and this hits everything i can't go over 80 so i am taking that thing off and it should it'll be floppy but it won't it'll allow me to go over 80 and it will not hold rock so when i go down the street it sounds terrible there's rocks tinging off everything a rock actually flew into my car today and hit me bouncing off glass it's not good so Let's uh, get this thing up and uh, take that off. It sucks. It's terrible. This could, should come off pretty easily. Yeah, a few bolts here and there, and we'll see. Should be all right. Yeah, we'll see. But the the bumper is gonna be floppy. But the bumper's fucked anyway, so it, it's it doesn't it's fine. So the, the front lip sucks. <laughs> the front lip sucks. That is definitely one thing, but. There are three through bolts and they're uh they're nylon. Are you ready? So bad. There's like a hundred pounds of gravel. Dude. Oh your bumper I'm sorry. No, that's it does that. But not oh it's gonna That's what it's gonna do though. There's clips in the front. So when you go over 80 now it's gonna go. Sorry. You think? Do you have a stock bumper for this thing? No. I didn't get one. Damn it, Jesse. Oh, that's unfortunate. Go steal Tommy's bumper. He doesn't need it. His bumper's the same way as this. <laughs> is about to be. It's a Z thing? Yeah. yeah KBD, baby. <laughs> no, that thing will be flopping it. Yeah, that thing will be like a flag. DB, did you release that your um, polished covers yet? Tomorrow. Okay. You could. Oh, you could. Oh! Ray gun. Oh my god. Someone shoot a gun? That's a lot. This thing's pretty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get, get the music. Get get the music. That's right. Step, 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 step. I like this lens. I miss this lens. I had the same lens. I broke it fast. Alright, let's. Oh, look at that. Give me this. Junk. Mm -hmm. Alright, I think it looks more balanced without it. Yeah, uh, trim it. Little bit. You gotta worry about, yeah, you don't worry about that when things aren't even attached right here. One bump. Yeah. That happened. Me every day. Self tapper. Day. Right there. Me every day. See a little trimming. Look. How did you just break off? The, the mounts that were almost broken off. No oh, plastic dip badge. Never noticed that before. Is it plastic dip? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just fucking. No, kidding. that's a, um upgraded uh, Nismo option, yeah. Nissan option, yeah. EBAY.com? That was in the catalog. E -A -Y? Sounds a lot classier when you say EBAY. E be like, okay. Someone's gonna yeah. stop and think, EBAY. EBAY. -E oh, I've, I've heard, heard of them. That's where Tommy buys all his parts. That's what I've heard. <laughs> so do I take this piece off now, James? <laughs> um, I would just tie it up. It's bolted. Yeah, you maybe take that off. Do you think it'll make wind noise? <laughs> yeah, cause look, it's Paracel right now. Oh, more rocks. Or maybe there's some gold in there. DJ the rock man. We all knew that. <laughs> oh, that's sick. That's a good feature to put on it. Oh no, don't fall on me. No, oh, there's not that many rocks in it. I lost them today. Yeah, stroke. Yeah, I feel dizzy. Just that one, the inspecting. Here we go. It's not that many rocks in it, but there's still. I did a decent number on that. And uh, yeah, I needed to be taken care of. There's no integrity to the bumper. They should make little metal 
bars. It'll be all right. <laughs> Are you gonna give him one over on the on that road? Yeah, be rent. This, this thing's kind of loud. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's loud sometimes, and I'm like, I don't know if it's that loud. There's louder cars. There's louder cars, but it's like a deep. Yeah. You hear it. I think once I put the research, the gate, it might not be as loud. And it'll shoot flame, baby, for sure. What a wake up call. This guy's late for work. Is he's still there. His truck's still there. Yeah, he's late. <laughs> gotta wake him up. It's funny seeing you here this early. What did you go to bed at like 8? 4. 8 p.m. last night? 4 a.m. All right, so woke up bright and early. Aunt picked me up, but we got to run an errand. Errand for James. He needs his tires mounted. James had a drift event today and tomorrow. I probably will not be going to it because just chill. We are going to uh, stay gold performance. Huge shout out to say gold see what they're doing and um mount some tires we're out in deep river it is absolutely sick out here i used to work out here and it was like my favorite part of working just because of like it's just different it's lakes rivers waterfalls the houses are sick it's just a good vibe just pulled up wow i haven't been here in a little bit got some stuff in here some things. Some light. Check out over there. That's a honey. Ant, you wanna uh, open that one up? <laughs> Let's see. 2J. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's it. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> and that's dope. I don't know about the precision though. <laughs> uh, I couldn't film this because they, you guys haven't seen these wheels and I can't show them. Right? These are kind of secretive here. As they could see the back of one right there. So we stopped at a garage sale, got a few things, but the truck's loaded. This is like half of the stuff, so. Oh, probably a quarter. I forgot about the compressor. But I'll show you once we get back to the shop. All right, so we just left. It was Ant's neighbor. Some guy passed away, and the lady was very nice. She wanted to give us the stuff for nothing, but we were, we were fair with it. We still did decent, I'd say. So, um, yeah, truck's loaded. Dagnell's in the van with every, he's got wheels. He's got like a 200 pound drill press. Bought a compressor, gotta pick that up. That thing is very heavy and very big, but, and little odds and ends that we will go through when we get to the shop. I wasn't expecting today to do a shop mod, buy stuff for the shop, but, kind of could not say no so let's go to the shop and go through it and got some good stuff too dagnell bought one thing i was very surprised i only bought one thing a little milwaukee corded uh grinder all right so we got everything unloaded we are i'm gonna go through it quick so we could start moving stuff around and the shop needs to be like reorganized a little bit over here like this bench is gonna go over to dagnell's side and just where we're gonna put things pretty much so to start off, uh, oxyacetylene torch, two oxygen tanks, two acetylene tanks, two torches, two sets of lines, some uh, air hose line that I think is cracked right there. So I don't think this is any good. Dope vintage Gatorade cooler. Uh, Ant got some stuff and Dagnell got uh, a Milwaukee angle grinder, which is really sick, corded, some blades. Like six blades in there. Dope snap on um, stool. Don't have a stool. And this thing's pretty gas. Old school Pittsburgh um, Harbor Freight set. Sockets. Goes all the way up to 32. Ice grips, discs, some air tools. This set is clean. Hella drill bits. 
some hole saws, some wood bits, adapters, concrete bits, those are nice. Wood and concrete. We don't really do too much woodworking. Or... Wood, metal, concrete. Cool set. Don't know UGT. Never heard of that. Got the bench, these cabinets that have the locks on them. This thing is pretty dope. Because I don't have any shelves. So, those will definitely come in hand. Surprise guest, look who popped out. Nice shop, DJ. Great spine today. Couldn't finesse her out of her socks. Nah, we could've. She would've probably gave us the house. <laughs> Got all this stuff for a hundred bucks, but we're not complete scumbags, so. Complete. Yeah, we're not complete, complete. Yeah. exactly, but good pickup, good little haul. It's like a little bit like limey, uh, but it's not bad. I'm holding the dog. They're a little nuts. There he goes, there he goes. Oh, the lock. He's crazy tuck, huh? Johnny. Johnny is outside. Johnny's new cop, you know? Oh, oh. I guess so it's Friday night. Aunt doesn't have work tomorrow. Dagnell, you, you don't have work tomorrow. No work. <laughs> oh, we will pick back up on this tomorrow because I do want to rearrange the shop. The layout is. I look at it on camera and I'm like, I, I hate that, I hate that, so change it up a little bit and go through this stuff. Dagno already put the drill press to the test and it works. Made this mint little chuck hanger so no one could lose it because you don't want to lose this when you want to use this. So Me? We're going to go through more of this tomorrow and change the layout. But we're going to Mike G's tonight. See what he's doing. He's probably doing something. He's probably still fucking at Chase Bay. <laughs> Think he's still there talking to corporate. Yeah. Nah, who knows what he's doing? Who knows where he is? Ant's on the phone. He's drinking. He's on a company call. Chase Bay is yeah. talking to Chase. He's riding his show fucking bad. <laughs> Let's go to Mike's. All right, so we were at Mike, but he's Mike. What are you doing? We're just cleaning up the trunk a little bit with a little bit of magic fingers. <laughs> You magic touch, John. The Midas touch. All right, so he taped it off. Actually, Dagnell, can you run him through the whole process you did? Dagnell can do the Explain, because you, you did it. Put the bump, start from the fucking beginning. Heavy shit in the trunk, bad. Yeah, something spilled. It's like a Maybe submarine craft stripper or something. Something, yeah. something crazy. It was exactly. dirty poo poo cocky duty. <laughs> It was bad. There was paint peeling and there was crazy residue in the trunk. So Dag now what explain. Wow. Wire wheel took basically all the rust off that we could with what we had. It wasn't any rust though, it was more uh, like it was surface. surface but crap. it was <laughs> There was rust. Yeah, <laughs> there was rust. Rot. Rot no, holes no holes. There was no Swiss cheese. It was just like it was crusty. It was a little crusty. Yeah. No holes though. Obviously, because there was no Bondo applied like at all anywhere. So he cleaned it up. Go on. Clean, scrape fucking all the seams where the seam seal. That shit like went under the seam sealer. So you had to use a pick. Yeah. And get in it the was, grooves. Like, rusted like six inches back, like on the seam sealer, like, mm -hmm. underneath. You wouldn't even have saw it. Sanded. There was like a bunch of like rust fucking bullshit all along this tail panel. All in there. Did that. Scrape all the old fucking seam seal off. Mike taped it up, so we're gonna put some. No, you missed multiple steps. You painted it. <laughs> yeah, yeah primer, you paint, primer, primered paint, it. Yeah. Painted it, and the paint looks almost. It's okay. Yeah. It looks good. I'd say yeah. eighty-seven point two percent match. Not bad. I'll this take. Are, this side came out good. I'm not happy about. I think. What the, happened to here? I think. The, oh I, man! I, yeah. I thought that was just dust. No, I think the the VHT was no good. It like sprayed out fucking oil out of it. At the end of the day, a spare fucking tire is gonna be sitting on it. There was an old dirty glove looking thing. <laughs> that was a Japanese condo. Thing was big. That was a thing was. That thing was. Yeah, the long. It's dog. for five dudes to stand in a row at one time, and they all slip their cocks in it. The octa condom. So Mike tape. 
taped it all off, as you guys can see right there. Taped it off. You taped, did you see him sealer this already? No. So yeah, tape, getting ready. Seam sealer. Getting ready. Seam sealer and then. What? He didn't want to do that. Oh, you're doing it fucking no, in backwards. backwards. Paint and then seam sealer. Yeah, but you don't want to see the seam yes, seal. Yes, the fuck I do, because that's how it is factory. No. See right there, factory, you can see the seam seal. That's like I paint my bay and then. This ain't an engine bay, it's a spare fucking tire. Okay. <laughs> my junk. My junk. <laughs> on top of it it's got all Listen, the fucking Listen if you're going to go to this extent though don't you think you would want a seam sealer and then all color match it seam seal like I want it to oh. look factory and factory Okay on the Okay I I can't disagree with you there but I I would disagree with you. GTA dag now Well <clears throat> right in his ear <laughs> update looking good it's all seamed up sealed up did you guys do it with a paintbrush? Yeah. Picasso. An acid brush. Acid brush. Yeah. Complimentary of? Mr. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, now. <laughs> Dang, now, did you. Where the cigarette? <laughs> did you apply it? I applied it. How was it? With my cock. <laughs> That looks good. I mean, you do have the factory look, and I, I do like that. A gnome. A gnome. <laughs> At the same time, a little drinky poos we got going. <laughs> you know, it's not going to be perfect. My car 14s are notorious for, like, uh, a little rust behind the rear bumper, like here. Mine, you guys will see soon. I will take the bumper off, but it's like... I think yours might be worse than this. 100% worse, because it's through. Yeah. It's through. I, well, I scraped some spots on this. It was pretty bad. Like Mine's that. a little hole. It has a few holes like scattered throughout, which is annoying. With the work that I put in the front of it. The <laughs> was cheesy, boob, but boob job. No ass. <laughs> we'll get to that one day, but nice work. All right, guys, what is up? So, finished the video. Forgot to film an ender. Went to Mike G's. He was messing with his 14 a little bit. Just had a fire chill earlier that day. You guys saw all of the uh, stuff that I acquired. It wasn't like a tag sale. It was aunt's neighbor passed away and she had a lot of stuff that she wanted to get rid of. I did buy uh, a giant compressor that I need to go pick up tomorrow. So that'll be in the next video. So stay tuned for that. And the Z bumper, I made it even worse because that did not fix it. It, it flopped everywhere. So I got to re-secure the sides and go from there oh uh, i don't know i could get a new bumper but they're like two grand so hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like comment subscribe and if you want to subscribe to my patreon i will put the link down in the description i think we already have like 60 patreons so huge thank you to everybody that joined that it's like exclusive content that youtube does not allow me to post and i'll see you guys in the next one